Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiara and this will be another social work, business type related video. Um, a lot of you all ask questions about how I got into the field of social work and why I wanted to help children. So I will think back to, let me take it on back. Uh, okay, I went to school and I initially wanted to get my degree in psychology and I wanted to do be a child psychologist and I recall being in my psychology like 101 type class and the teacher asked me or the professor asked what do you guys want to do and she went around the class and asked everyone and I'm like yeah I want to be a child psychologist and she kept saying to me like you can be a child psychologist in so many you know ways or areas and I did not understand what she was saying I'm like okay I still want to be a child psychologist like whatever but now I kind of understand like you can be a therapist and be a child psychologist. You could work with as a child psychologist in the school system. Um, you could work as a child psychologist um, with a private agency, like as a family therapist or something like that for a day treatment company. So there are so many different, I guess, avenues you can take as a child psychologist. Didn't get that then. I get it now that I work in the field. So. After I ended up graduating, I still wanted to work with children, still thought that, you know, that was exactly what I wanted to do. And I went to work in a middle school. I told you all it was an inner city Richmond um, middle school, and it was very, very, very hard, very difficult population to work with. Uh, but it did prepare me for every step in every single job that I have had since then. So I really appreciated that job. So looking back at like my childhood and stuff like that, I honestly don't know what made me want to work with children. Um, I do know that I like helping people. I've always liked helping people. And um, I believe that children are the most vulnerable, I guess, people. Like they're the most vulnerable and older people too. Uh, so I just, if I wanted to help someone, it would be an innocent child because I feel like a lot of the situations that children are placed into, they don't, they don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they didn't ask to be in the situation that they were placed in. So that is why I wanted to help them. I say all this to say that a lot of you all have plans and, you know, goals. You think you know what you want to do. I still don't know what I want to do though, guys. Like, I... I'm hoping that I'm taking the right career path now, um, now that I'm in the education field, because I am getting my doctorate in education. So I'm hoping that this is the right path for me, but I may get to that position that I dreamed for and, or dreamed of and decide that I don't really like it. So today was my first day as a school social worker and um, it was actually okay. Like I didn't, expect it to be any other way I didn't feel overwhelmed at all everyone was very welcoming but I did notice that people like this field in this field is so everyone knows that the burnout is gonna you know occur eventually so I feel like people kept saying like you're okay take a deep breath um you don't want to quit already do you so the burnout is there y'all and if you are in this field of social work just know that it is there when people tell you about it when you're learning about it in your classrooms y'all it's real like and it doesn't matter what position you take you're gonna feel overwhelmed at some point and i don't know if other professions are like this i'm pretty sure teachers and medical people in the medical field feel the same type of anxiety and just stress but basically helping professionals i do see that they can you know feel the same stress but i don't know if like other fields do too so just consider all of that depending on i guess how many children you plan to have how you want to see your life like do you want to worry about work once you get home from work do you want to have your cell phone belong to you or do you want it to always be reminiscent of your job because a lot of the jobs in this field your cell phone is going to be every time it rings it could be a client so 
just consider all of those things guys this is just some more tips for you um i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was really quick uh but i just wanted to come and share that answer why i decided to do social work and work with children directly because i enjoy helping people and i believe that no matter what job i end up doing in the long run i feel that i will be <laughs> helping someone. So hopefully you all found this video helpful. Um, I noticed that a lot of you like the social work videos. If you guys have any other questions regarding, you know, professionalism or the working field after grad school or undergrad, please leave those in the comment section below. I really like talking about these types of things. Um, so yeah, please leave your questions below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.